Welcome to the Ohio GOP video blog. We are just one week away now from the special election in the 5th Congressional District in Northwest Ohio. The Republican candidate in that race is State Representative Bob Laddo. We had the chance to catch up with him today when he stopped by our headquarters to talk with some volunteers. Here's some of what he had to say. You're right, we're down to December the 11th, uh, one week to go. We had a lot of work to get done. Uh, it's hard to believe that uh, we've compressed an entire year's campaign into 35 days. And we've got a lot of people working on this campaign. We have to have more people working on the campaign because the other side's out there busing people in from around the state now. And we just can't have people become complacent thinking that it's a Republican district, everything's great, you don't have to vote. And so we've been really pushing people right off the bat to make sure that they're voting absentee. If they're not going to vote absentee, we're asking people right now to go into the courthouse or the Board of Elections, wherever it's located, asking them to vote right now and get it over with so they can go out and shop till they drop and, and just keep moving. But the ones that are persistent and really want to make sure that they're voting on Election Day, they're going to have to remember, we don't know what the weather's going to be like. So when Election Day comes, it, and it could be snowing or raining or blowing, we're going to be depending on those people to get out the vote because the other side's energized and they're going to be going into this campaign saying, you know, we'd love to pick this seat up. So Republicans can't stay at home, Republicans can't think it's a gimme, and they can't become complacent, and that's what we're really doing out there. We're really out there trying to get people moved to get to out the vote. It's, a, it's a traditionally a more conservative area, but again, in a special election, I have to keep emphasizing, it's a special election that uh, it's whoever gets the, the more of their people out that day. It's not the overall uh, consensus of the district or the makeup of the district. It's who gets those people driven out that day. And uh, so I've been telling folks we have to figuratively and literally drive people to the polls. And uh, that's a big part of this thing. It's just really who gets their folks out and who motivates them to do that. And again, it's the complacency that uh, makes me wake up at 2, 3, or 3 o'clock every morning worrying about that and get about getting this vote out. And, uh, you know, the Democrats, uh, you know, Nancy Pelosi, and, you know, you look at the difference between the candidates. Uh, my opponent's pro-choice, anti-Second Amendment, high taxes. Uh, you look at their it stands on past stands on immigration. There's been some flip-flopping. You know, you look at my stand, I'm 100% uh, pro-life. I've uh, had it through in the General Assembly here. I have an A-plus rating from the NRA. I'm against uh, taxes. I've been this, uh, the sponsor trying to get rid of the death tax here in the state of Ohio. My opponent favors it. So, you know, there's a lot of differences between the two. But again, it's in this type of election, people aren't paying attention, and you don't want to wake up on December the 12th and find out, gee, I should have done something to make sure that we kept this district Republican. If you live in the 5th District, you can vote now. Go to our website, ohiogop.org, to find out how you can get an absentee ballot or just find out more about the race. Thanks for watching the Ohio GOP video blog. For more, visit our website, ohiogop.org.